Uncovered in KTIV's Freedom of Information Act request reveals the claims and disputes the Woodbury County Law Enforcement Center Authority has with its architect and with its general contractor. That complex is over budget by about $20 million and contractors have missed several substantial completion dates. KTIV's Matt Hoffman joins us now with some of the documents that were included on a flash drive that you have about the conflict between th these three parties. Now, yeah. these documents were marked as confidential in some cases. How did we get a hold of them? Yeah, sure. So last September, KTIV sent in a Freedom of Information Act request to get answers for the taxpayers about the delays and, of course, the price of the project. After narrowing our request and negotiating it, KTIV actually paid for these documents. Now, these documents went through a redaction process in February, and we were provided on this flash drive right here. This confidential memo was on that flash drive after the redaction process. After searching through thousands of emails and documents, this memo lays out the authorities' claims and a general overview of the delays. Now, guys, these are some of the main questions the public has had since delays were first announced. This memo was drafted last year and updated on November 19th, 2023 laying out in detail the four main issues impacting the project. The memo lays out the project's general timeline, delays, and legal claims the authority may have. There are four categories of project issues outlined by the memo. The first is titled, quote, Hausman's general delay and work quality issues, end quote. The authority's lawyer, Jody McDougall, writes in the memo that, quote, Hausman has regularly been behind schedule, and cause delays throughout the project, end quote. McDougall goes on to write, quote, the quality of Hausman's work generally has been below standards, often requiring an extensive amount of rework and correction, end quote. We need to be careful in terms of what's being demanded and the cost for some of these change orders. Uh, to me, we need to make sure that the taxpayer dollars are being spent wisely. McDougall writes that the project's architect, that's Goldberg Group Architects, also bears some responsibility. In the memo, McDougall says Goldberg failed to include fire slash smoke dampers in the project's plans. Now, while that has been previously reported, the memo says failure to include the dampers is a breach of the, quote, design contract and other sections of the contract requiring, quote, Goldberg to exercise its skill and judgment and violates a section of the contract requiring the architect's work to comply with, quote, ordinances, status, regulation, and codes, end quote. The memo's third issue is Hausman's failure to install security bars in the ductwork. While this also has been previously reported, the memo goes in detail about the issue. According to the memo, the security bar issue was discovered more than a year ago, back in November of 2022. McDougall writes that Hausman did not install the bars in any of the planned 304 ductwork locations. McDougall writes, quote, however, the state jail inspector has since approved a revised plan that would only require security bars in 54 ductwork locations, end quote. According to the memo, Hausman Construction, the general contractor, quote, disputes that the drawings clearly show that security bars were needed and thus requests additional payment of approximately $77,000, end quote. Now, the memo says the request for more money was denied. The fourth so-called project issue is Goldberg. Remember, that's the architect's, quote, error regarding Elevator 6 control box. McDougall writes that the elevator, quote, controller was exposed to the elements, which cannot happen. To remediate this problem, Hausman will be constructing a new wall slash door, end quote. The memo goes on to say, quote, the rework will not result in a significant cost or delays, end quote. According to the memo, the contractor submitted a proposed change order of $40,000 for the controller box. McDougall writes that Goldberg's defective design is a breach of various contractual obligations, as well as a breach of its professional, architectural, and engineering duties. So it's not so simple as to say, one entity, do this or you're out. We're using an entity to fix problems, arguably, potentially caused by another entity. Right now, the project's substantial completion date is set for mid-May, but several previous deadlines have been missed. Now, Hausman Construction, remember, that's the general contractor, declined an on-camera interview request, but they did send us the statement. 
That statement reads in part on your screen, Hausman disagrees with any assertion that is responsible for any delays or quality issues on the project within its control and further denies any assertion that it has failed to complete any documented scope of work as required by the plans and specifications approved and delivered on bid, end quote. Of course, you'll be able to find that full statement on our website, ktiv.com. Now, the authority has made McDougal its spokesperson for all media inquiries. We did send her some questions about the November 19th memo, and we offered an on-camera interview to all three authority commissioners. McDougal responded that the memo was inadvertently disclosed and demanded that KTIV immediately delete and or return the document. This memo was included in the Freedom of Information redacted documents that the authority provided. Matt Hoffman in studio tonight. Matt, thank you.